Well, a tremendous Tuesday to you, brothers and sisters. It is great to be here with you to share in God's Word. And with the weather warming up and the snow melting, and even having the ability to go outside without a coat, is a wonderful to know that spring is in the air. A season of renewal, a season of life-giving, springing forth from the winter's grip. Glory to God, for His mercy is new every morning. Now, speaking of which, that is the topic of today's fifth beatitude found in Matthew 5, 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. In looking at the definition of the word merciful, we all have come to know and understand its meaning, such as one who is compassionate, helpful, kind, giving towards the weak, sick, and the poor. As out of the norm as this beatitude is, as some of the other beatitudes, most of us would agree that we find it proper to be merciful to others. But in the time when Jesus walked this earth and spoke these words, it surprised and was shocking to the crowd, as were some of the other Beatitudes. Romans despised pity, and being merciful was the exception to the rule. Even today, we oftentimes see the lack of pity and being merciful to others, especially to those who are weak and unable to defend themselves. So too were the Pharisees who showed little or no mercy and were also very judgmental. Of course, these could also be due to the common perception that suffering was the result and deserving punishment of personal sin. Jesus accused and condemned the Pharisees for not showing mercy in Matthew 23, 23. The ministry of Jesus was filled with compassion. It was filled with love and care for the unfortunate of this world. And mind you, he did not just express to the Pharisees about being merciful. He was speaking to us Christians today that we are to have the same attitude. Look here in Colossians 3.12. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now, one cannot truly show mercy or compassion to someone unless you do something about it. As being merciful is an action-based emotion. Here again, being merciful is one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit shown by kindness found in Galatians 5.22. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. Act of mercy first come from the realization that you yourself have been shown mercy by God. This is one of the most important aspects I feel we need to remember above all else. Look in look look in look yeah look in Luke six thirty six. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Blessed merciful beatitude, which is a daily practice or lifestyle. Wherever you are, whether at work or at home, or even in in the neighborhood. Jesus summarized it wonderfully in Matthew 25, 35 through 40. In it he said, For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. 
I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it for me. The promise, they will receive or obtain mercy as they show to others. Kindness and compassion are the integral part of Christian character, combined with love and forgiveness. Yet, how many times do we find ourselves struggling with it? How many times are we kind to someone out of obligation or duty, while in our hearts find ourselves grumbling about it, often expecting something in return? So when we don't get it and return the same kindness, it harbors bitterness. It reminds me of the parable of Jesus, of a servant who received mercy from his master, but did not show mercy to his fellow servant. In Matthew 18, 25 through 35. Precious Father, thank you for showing us your mercy even when we don't deserve it, you freely give it to us. Thank you for sending your Son to earth to show us by example how to show and provide mercy. Your mercies are new every day, and so ought we express that same level of mercy unto others. Lord, help us to remember the mercy and grace we have received from you when we struggle to be merciful and kind to others. Even in the Lord's Prayer, you showed us that we are to forgive one another just as we have been forgiven. This in of itself is displaying mercy. So help us to remember this every time someone treats us wrong. For as your mercy is good for them, so should ours be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you, brothers and sisters, for being here today. We'll talk to you tomorrow when we're on the sixth beatitude. God bless your day.